So it's been a while since I made another video. But this is what the D looks like right now. Um, pretty easy with these things. You put them back together. Just the heavy ass gear and those heavy things. This I'd use the engine always so those put in by hand. Um, I don't know, it's coming along pretty good. Um, all the gaskets are back on, as you can see in this one. Luckily, John Deere still made that. The oil seal in here, and John Deere still made that one, surprisingly. The gasket right here for this one, I had to make in that one, and then I make a gasket for the steering. So there's a couple gaskets that John Deere hasn't made. They don't make a gasket for this one anymore, which I have the old one over right here. This is all broken up. Just got to put it together to get a piece of a gasket material which I don't have anymore then I ran into another problem with the oil seal on the brakes and I accidentally broke this or bent it up getting it out the old ones and um, John Deere doesn't make the oil seal anymore so I'm gonna take it to an engine shop and they said that they're gonna try to find the right seal and get the dimensions for that and the shaft that goes inside there which is laying in there and I told them about that, and there's supposed to be another felt seal on this part. Like this part goes in there a little bit. Then the felt seal, and then you have the oil seal. So he's thinking that he's gonna put maybe a bigger gasket in there. I don't know. Um, other than that, I had it running until a while back. Um, for Christmas, I got a brand new carburetor. <coughs> Not new, new, refurbished, but it looks new. Um, what else have I done to this thing? <clears throat> I think that's pretty much it for the D side. Here's all the parts for it right here. The all torn apart. It's little pieces. And I got these thinking that they were John Deere rims, which they are, but they're meant for an old hay wagon. So, a little disappointed in that. And here's one of the rims. I'm taking this to the machine shop and see if they can get it out. Um, I did everything trying to get this out of the same way. My budge accidentally cracked one of the spooks. As you can see, right there. It started to crack a little bit right there. So I stopped pulling on it. Then, the 3010. Um, it kept on leaking corn a lot, and it kept on like getting warm really fast. So, I stuck a new thermostat in it today, a new gasket, I drained all the old corn out, it was kind of brownish and nasty. So I let that run for a little bit, and I was about to drain a little bit of corn out while I was sitting there. So I'll probably put everything back on the 3010 tomorrow. Um, I think I showed you the video of the 60, I'm not sure yet. But it's running pretty good. Every time I start it, I always blow black soot, as you can see, across the whole clear coat. This is the one I put clear coat on. And a new um, refurbished generator. Carburetor's been rebuilt. I had clutch issues. Figured out just the springs that weren't allowing the clutch to disengage because they were worn out. So I had this running today for a little bit and then I put it back in and put the battery charger on. Same thing with the 50, I know that it runs today though. Um, other than that, um, it's coming along pretty good. Um, once we get the oil seals from those and then it should be a piece of cake from there. So I could slap that back on, put the cover on that, and then maybe put gear on it. And once I get the gear on, put the flywheel on, drain the bad oil that's in it, I'm gonna take that all out. There's this used oil to keep it. To get all rid of all the nasty shit that was in there to run it. Um, then I'm thinking for the clutch side. I'm pretty sure right here. Yeah, it's an oil ring, I'm not sure. This oil goes up the inside of that whole thing. And there's like a little hole where it drains back into the um, the housing. So I just gotta take this ring off and take that off and see if that's an oil ring. 
Because I had it running before, and before I took all that shit off. And there was no oil in it. <coughs> you actually, I don't know if you can see, there's light through right there. All that was just covered with a like gunk. Like there was nothing shining through. I've got that all cleaned up. There's a gear in here. I cleaned that all up. It's pretty much all the gears got pulled out in that thing because they were just covered. It was like nasty material just soaked over top of the rust. So. Next step is try to get this piece off. That piece right there. But I'm assuming you know, it screws, but I'm not sure though. Because I don't have a big enough Phillips on a flathead to unscrew it. So I'll probably have to put a little heat to it to warm it up to unscrew it. And when I messed up with this thing, it kept on teeter tottering. I stuck a piece of wood there, but it fell over. But that's why I have the jack on this side. And that piece of wood's still good. Um, other than that, uh, hopefully the engine block, you see how the wheels are all welded up on the block. Hopefully they hold up too. I want to actually take it out and actually get it warmed up. And then my next idea, because these are powder coated, I had these sent off to get powder coated. <laughs> and I'm trying to find uh, like a road band or re a retread, like off of like a tractor trailer, just tread. I can just put on this side and put on that side, or if not, put a whole piece. I'm not sure yet. Figure out where to get those from that yet, because I'm not paying. There's a place that actually makes the band for these, but they're like $600 just for the two pair. <clears throat> and then for the back lens, I think I might have them powder coated. I'm not sure. And then I'll put these, which these things are like $35 a piece. So I think they'll look pretty good. Oh yeah, I'll keep y'all...